hello. This one goes out to Lover Dino, who asked me how to emulate the GameCube controller. Now, I didn't emulate the GameCube controller. There is this thing that goes with the Wii. It's basically an old Nintendo 64 style controller that, you know, it's just an alternative to the Wii mode. Now, he asked me how to get it on the Dolphin 2.0 so we could play Endless Ocean. I don't recommend using this controller for Endless Ocean because it's really not great. But, there are some bits that require you to use a uh, shake function, like, you know, you'd shake your Wiimote. You can't do that with a, uh, an emulated Wiimote, but you can with an, it, uh, with an emulated class controller, so that's what I'll do now. I have your Dolphin window. First you want to go into config, you know, configure the uh, various options. You have general, GameCube, Wii, paths. You want to go to plugins. Down here you'll see graphics, DPS, GameCube pad, and Wiimote. And under Wiimote you only have the one option which is the Dolphin Wiimote. Configure that. Here you have Wiimote 1, Wiimote 2, Wiimote 3, 4. You'll just be playing one. So you have emulated Wiimote, inactive, and real Wiimote. When you use emulated, um, don't worry about any of the uh, real Wiimote or infrared pointer options. Don't worry about the emulated position. You want to go to emulated extension. It has none, nunchuck, class controller, and guitar hero. Classic. You want to go to that. In button mapping, and you'll have this. Don't worry about the, uh, the game pad, the tilt and swing. Don't worry about analog 1 and 2. Don't worry about the trigger status. Don't worry about analog axes and triggers. Don't worry about Wiimote. You want to go to class controller. Everything should be set to keyboard and just configure that the way you want. Now in Endless Ocean, which is the game in question, to emulate the shake function, it, it, it the game is compatible with the, uh, the class controller. So, in order to emulate that, move some stuff, you simply need to make sure that you have the left trigger, or the left um, analog sticks, or button pad thing, down. So that's the first four under left stick. Right stick, you want the first four, and A, B, and X, and Y. So you want everything under right stick. And then under triggers, you want left trigger, right trigger. Don't don't even worry about the digital left, digital right, digital. Di that they're just the uh, the arrows, which I mean you can use them, and they do have functions in the game. But if you just want to get through this as quickly as possible, you don't need them. You can just ignore those and leave them to their defaults. You want left trigger and right trigger. You want to make sure that you know what those are because those are what are gonna be emulate the shake command. Or in the game, it just asks you, you know, the whale is coming. Please hit the left trigger and right trigger to swim out of the way. Simple. So, once you get past that, simply go back into the Wiimote configuration and switch it back to none. So you can use the game as you would normally, which is much more smooth and much better than if you use the class controller. So you want to go in back into none button map, make sure that, you know, it's not connected. Make sure you have all your buttons down, and you're good. Good to go. So, Dino Lover, this one goes out to you and your creepy bugs. Man. Look at that thing. Ew. Okay, bye. Wait. What's the end button? I was supposed to, you know, be good, and I just be like, yeah! Okay, bye. You and your creepy spiders. God, I hate spiders.